think we can all agree that the fundamentals of health are very important. Things like good diet, sleeping well, exercising, getting uh, sunshine. You know, no one's going to say, hey man, don't eat fruits and vegetables because they're unhealthy. But one of the cool things about living in this time era is that we have peer-reviewed data which, you know, demonstrably proved that these things are important for our health. All right, so hiking, we know it's good, but exactly how good is it and, you know, why is it good? Uh, this study here from the National Academy of Sciences did a study on hiking and rumination. Uh, rumination is kind of like obsessive thoughts linked to mental illness and depression. So what they found is they put them on a um, 90 minute hike and they assessed this um, activation in their brain in that prefrontal cortex which is associated with mental illness and depression as well as their self-reported uh, rumination or obsessive thoughts and um, the activity went down for both which means that you know hiking in nature um, helps you to be more serene you know a better state of mind and we generally we know that but this is exactly how it works um, this other one here says that if we disconnect from technology, which we often do by getting out of nature, um, that significantly improves um, our well-being. So, this one they showed that um, they put the participants on a four-day hike and no technology, and they showed that their problem-solving uh, was boosted by about 50%. So, they're a bit more clarity of mind there, you know, um, cognitive function. Uh, also here is ADHD, you know, <laughs> kids just going off the rails, right? And we put those kids in these kind of internal classroom environments, you know, it's quite boring and they really can't handle it. Impulse control and staying focused, right? But this study um, here showed that, you know, the getting these ADHD kids outdoors, they had better symptoms, their symptoms went down, which means they were better able to focus, so gave them a bit of a more serene mind. Which is something, if we've been hiking, if you've been hiking, we all know that from personal experience. Uh, there's also basic things like it could burn 400, 700 calories an hour, you know, that's, that's a good benefit. Uh, but also boosting cognitive power in the hippocampal volume, means, you know, the hippocampus in the brain. Um, and this study. Yeah, <laughs> the study found that the women over 70 who tend to have these things like Alzheimer's, dementia, a lot, and, uh, reduced their stress, anxiety, self-esteem, endorphins, and better memory uh, recall, improved their memory loss. So that's great. So those are a few ways that you know going hiking can specifically help you to be healthier. Uh, I'm sure the benefits for hiking go way beyond that, but um, you know. If, if you didn't think that hiking was healthy before, I certainly hope this proves to you now. And personally, you know, I live in um, Taranaki where we have you know, a really nice mountain here and lots of great places to hike and I like to enjoy that, you know, once or twice a month on average, part of the, my uh, healthy exercise routine. So it's really a fun way to exercise and I would encourage you to, you know, participate in that to some extent as well. Just try it out.